There are a few individuals among us who live lives of extraordinary achievement, but very often when you delve into the minds of these same remarkable people, you find evidence of possible mental illness. The lives of some celebrated men and women are explored in a new book. Dan Godwin has more in tonight's Fox Forward. What is it that enables some people to leave a lasting mark on the world we inhabit in science, politics, the arts, or any number of other fields? The human mind is infinitely complex, but there's no denying that very often exceptional gifts are accompanied by what could be considered mental illness or at least some very pronounced personality quirks, to put it politely. Great to welcome Claudia Kalb, an award-winning journalist who writes about medicine, health, and science. Her new book is called Andy Warhol Was a Hoarder, Inside the Minds of History's great personalities. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So in the book you profile uh, 12 famous people who've all passed on and you do sort of delve into their psyches. For example, uh, George Gershwin, one of the giants of 20th century composing. What about George? He had trouble listening. He was very energetic. He couldn't sit still. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is a theory about him. The first person in the book you write about, Marilyn Monroe, a troubled soul. Uh, tell us the, the big takeaways about Marilyn. So Marilyn Monroe had a very difficult childhood. She was in a foster home for a while, in an orphanage. She was constantly on a quest for her identity. She didn't really know who she was, only on the stage where she was an actress. But outside of that, she was very troubled. And there's the theory that she had something called borderline personality disorder, constant quest for trying to find yourself. And it was very difficult for her. What is the value of this kind of book and delving into these famous people in this way? I think by looking at these people, we humanize them. They're people we think we know and very superficially maybe we do know. But they had lots of struggles just like so many of us. And so it humanizes them and it kind of puts a face on mental health conditions so we can better understand them and better identify with them. Albert Einstein completely redefined our understanding of the universe and and many other accomplishments. Right. Tell us about Albert. Albert Einstein, as a child, had characteristics that today are red flags for autism, or what we might know as Asperger's. So he was um, a very late talker, and he had a lot of social issues, and he was kind of isolated. He could focus very well on single tasks. He, bought, he built card towers 14 stories high, but he wasn't great at interacting, and he had issues with communication. Do you think there is a link between this experience exceptional achievement and these quirks. Maybe. I mean, it seems that in some cases there's this combination of the troubling and difficult challenges, behavioral issues, as well as this genius, these huge accomplishments, this ability to just motivate yourself and get ahead of everybody else. So it's, it's an open-ended question and it's really an interesting one to ponder. Maybe my all-time favorite historical figure, Abraham Lincoln. Give me a a quick sketch. Lincoln had these depressive episodes, especially in his 20s, and it, it was really troubling. He was, friends thought he was suicidal at times, and so really intense, um, profound. In his 20s. In his 20s, but, and then, you know, throughout his life was seen to be a very melancholy guy. There are a lot of reports from that era that he talks, they see him as sort of a sad guy. His face was sad, his eyes were sad. These wonderful reports about him, but, but being very sad. Um, so depression is, is something that experts have looked at and assessed with Lincoln. I'm not done with the book yet, but boy, it is an interesting read. Claudia Kalb, thank you so much. Thank you. The book is called Andy Warhol Was a Hoarder, available in, well, everywhere yes. that you buy books these days. Thanks thank very you. much. Thank you.